good everybody welcome back to another my damn toys video today ladies and gentlemen we have some brand new wwe action figure news for you guys we got some leaked sets upcoming that i think a lot of you guys are going to be really excited about because we have a lot of great figures coming up that i think are going to be epic i think you guys are going to be very excited so stay tuned for the full sets we have three leaked sets here today and i can't wait to get into it as well as an announcement from mattel okay they told us that next thursday i think it's april 8th they're going to be doing their wrestlemania Mattel reveals. You guys know that usually at WrestleMania Access, they have these reveals to us, and you know, we get to see new figures and prototypes and stuff. Well, this year it's going to be on April 8th. I don't know if it's going to be in person. I don't know if we're going to get like live videos and you know, images and stuff, which I low key miss. You know, I really miss like being at the events and seeing ringside posts of the event photos. I miss that for some reason. Such a such a weird thing to miss, but I, I miss seeing you know, them on display in person and getting those weird angles and then zooming in because I don't get good photos and like having to break down all the imagery and the parts and stuff. Really kind of miss that, but that's besides the point next Thursday we're going to be getting new reveals from Mattel I'm guessing we'll see Elite 86 and probably you know upcoming other things so we'll have to stay tuned for that next Thursday guys stay tuned because I'll upload a video about it for sure but let's dive into these sets guys starting out first we're going to cover basic series 125 basic series 125 is going to feature a pretty solid set right here lots of great options here let's break down the set guys Alexander Wolf Bobby Fish Santos Escobar, Cedric Alexander, and Daniel Bryan. Now, there's a lot of things to unpack with this. Alexander Wolf, we have not seen a figure of him in a long time. I'm pretty sure we only have the one collector's edition from Elite Series 65, if I'm not mistaken. Alexander Wolf, it'll probably be his Imperium attire, is what I would guess. Could be something else, I don't know, but I'm guessing it, it'd have to be a new head sculpt, right? I hope to God it's a new head sculpt, like Jesus Christ. It would have to be, right? I mean, that's been years. I mean, the, please, Jesus, give me a new head sculpt, right? Uh, next up is Bobby Fish. Now, Bobby Fish, I think, didn't we get a Kyle O'Reilly or we're getting one in Basic Series 123 or 124 with Kyle O'Reilly? I'm guessing this Bobby Fish will match the Kyle O'Reilly that we're going to be getting or we've already, I don't think we've seen it just yet, but whatever that Kyle O'Reilly is going to look like coming up in that set will be what this Bobby Fish matches. Next up is going to be Santos Escobar. Now, Santos Escobar for me, this head sculpt and attire is probably, it'll probably be a different attire, but his head sculpt is going to match his Elite 87 figure that we're going to be getting. I'd be highly shocked if it didn't match it. You guys know that with the new Carry and Cross Elite, the basic actually had a different head sculpt, so maybe it's not a given that it'll be a, uh, a new head sculpt head sculpt but it would be uh it would be likely that it'll be a repeat of the elite 87 head sculpt next up cedric alexander my boy cedric alexander hasn't had a figure since elite 67 he's never had a basic i don't even think so getting this figure in here will be great i would love to see a fix up that i can do maybe a new uh more determined head sculpt uh, he'll probably be smiling again. I just hope it's not the same head sculpt. Just give me something new, a new expression, make it look like the man, and I'll put that on my Elite, and we'll have a really cool fix-up idea for my Cedric. You guys know that I love Cedric Alexander. Next up is Daniel Bryan. Now, this could be a ton. Hopefully, it's an updated, shorter haircut, you know, for his basic figure, but we won't know unless we see it. There's a lot of options it could be. Uh, it could easily be just a repeat of so many different head sculpts, so, I mean, I'm not even going to get into that. It'd be cool to see a new one, but you never really know with Mattel and Basics and like they, they they could rehash the same head sculpt 12 times. They've done it before so you never know with this Daniel Bryan. Next up guys Basic Series 126 very interesting set right here. Take a look at the screen. We have Wesley Blake, Killian Dane, Tommaso Ciampa, Dominic Mysterio, and Alexa Bliss. So two first time in the lines in this set. Wesley Blake getting an action figure. Who to thunk it? I feel like you know it's been long overdue for a Wesley Blake but you know Wesley Blake here he comes. Killian Dane we have haven't seen a figure of him since his NXT figure. I'm guessing it will be a new head sculpt for sure. Tommaso Ciampa, hopefully it's not his like balding head sculpt. I would like to see another bald head sculpt, but you know, anything's possible, I guess. Tommaso Ciampa has had, what, two elites. He's had a couple, but it looks like they're adding him here in Basic Series 126 with Tommaso Ciampa. We have Dominic Mysterio with his first figure ever. That should be really interesting to see where that goes. Hopefully it'll be really easy to convert him into an elite. I know a lot of people want to put him into their collections. I'm not a big Dominic Mysterio fan, but it is it should still be a really cool figure. Hopefully the the likeness is there and everything like that, much like Wesley Blake. Every time you get a you know a first time in the line, man, you really want that likeness to be there. So Dominic Mysterio will be really good to plug in. Maybe you even want to run Dominic and Ray as a tag team in your Fed or something. That would be pretty cool. Not gonna happen in MDT, but you know, yeah. Alexa Bliss. 
Hopefully this Alexa Bliss is a is a you know a Firefly Funhouse Alexa Bliss or a Fiend style Alexa Bliss, I guess is what you would call that. But Alexa Bliss, hopefully it will be her updated look. I think that would sell really well. Hopefully it looks like her. You guys know that with Alexa Bliss, we have had some horrendous head sculpts and we have had some pretty good ones. So hopefully this will be on the pretty good side and it will actually look like her and it will be a basic that everybody wants to buy. I think there was that one basic that made her look like a like a damn Dr. Seuss character. And there was, you know, there, there's been some very suspect kind of Alexa Bliss head sculpts out there in the past. So hopefully this one will be on par and it'll look all good and stuff. But that is Basic Series 126. Pretty, uh, pretty solid set right there. And then ending it off, guys, we have the last set that we're going to talk about is Basic Series 127. And that is going to be Kushida, Walter, Cameron Grimes, Bronson Reed, and Velveteen Dream. So a lot of uh, uh, two more first time in the lines coming right here. So Kushida, I think his Elite should be out by the time that this uh, set comes out. Hopefully it'll be in his full Marty McFly gear. I, would, I think that would be absolutely excellent. Whoever knows, though, because you guys know as well as I do that basics lack a lot of details sometimes, so that could literally be anything. It may just be a different attire rehashed with the same elite head sculpt that we get for Kushida. Walter will be pretty cool. I'm interested to see how they do his body mold and stuff like that. And uh, it'll pretty much be a basic version of the Elite, right? Like, I don't think he has a ton of different looks for himself. So, Walter will be an uh, interesting look there. I wonder if they give him a new head sculpt. That'll be something to see as well. We have Cameron Grimes, who I know a lot of people are waiting for in action figure form from Mattel. I feel like it's been a minute since we have, uh, you know, we've been waiting on his figure. So, Cameron Grimes should be a really interesting plug into the set there. Bronson Reed, another talent that uh, should be interesting in figure form. Like, it's really cool to see all of these guys be that, that are getting figures, you know, pumping them out in these next three series with a lot of new names, it seems. So, that is really cool to see up next to Cameron Grimes and, like, a really unique basic set, I think, for this, for this wave here. And last but not least in the set, guys, we have Velveteen Dream, which I have no idea what attire this could be. I hope it's a new head sculpt. While I'm not a fan of Velveteen Dream, never really have been the biggest fan of him but uh, it'll be cool if it gets a, a really cool head sculpt. I know we got the braided head sculpt from the Battle Pack with Ricochet. We've seen his Elite 72 head sculpt, and we've seen his Elite 67, even though I think the Elite 7 and the Elite 72 were like the exact same head sculpt, so maybe they'll change it up. And I'm pretty sure the braided head sculpt was pretty much that exact head sculpt, except different hair, so it wouldn't be exact, but you know, it's just different hairstyles, things like that. But that is it for Basic 127. Gonna be a uh, pretty adventurous set here, but all of this news does come to us from my man unstable 1047 so huge shout out to my man unstable 1047 huge shout out to christian for uh, giving us the heads up on the basic waves and the action figure news. I really appreciate him for that. I think I'm really excited to see what reveals we get on the 8th, man. I'm really hoping that we get Elite Series 86 because I really want to see what Rollins looks like. I pre-ordered three of them, so that should be great. Hopefully it doesn't, you know, totally bomb. I, I really plan on getting an Elite 86 Rollins in that Mysterio gear. I want to acetone the tights and take all the question marks and the imagery off and give me like a plain pink attire. I think that'd be a really dope attire. Hopefully that's that all works out and hopefully the figure is just really good i just hope that it's good because i've already spent money on the pre-order and that would suck if it ended up crashing and burning i don't think it will i don't think they've made a bad seth rollins elite so hopefully that will uh, not happen i think the worst seth rollins elite they've ever made is elite 70 with the shield attire which was like you know they gave him like the paler skin tone and it was in the shield gear it was just a really let down of a of a reveal for me and then maybe the elite 52 but at the time the elite 52 was really bomb so i don't know i guess we'll just have to see about all the things and get all the stuff going guys but that does it for all of your action figure little leaks for these upcoming waves basic 125 126 and 127 a huge shout out again to my man unstable 1047 for the news and stay tuned for april 8th because we're going to be getting all of those uh, reveals to us and it should be very interesting but i think that is going to do it for today's video guys thank you so very much for watching i really really appreciate it before we get out of here guys let's get into our random shout out and this shout out is going to go to logan's equipment inc or incorporated finally we are finally we are getting double jointed arms on all our elites or we are getting double jointed arms are on our elites Finally, we are getting double jointed arms are on our elites. That hurt my brain a little, but you know what, Brad? We understand. We understand where you're coming from there, and I agree, man. The double jointed arms on all of our figures is going to be epic, but it doesn't mean shit if I can't get a John Brown pick fed episode out, and I'm about to launch myself off of a building. But seriously, one day, Brad, one day I'm going to kick it into overdrive.
Don't cross the line. You cross the line. I've been beaten.